paste. Just lightly dust the, the mould afterwards. Make sure we haven't got any creases on the bit that's going to be actually sticking into the mould, which we haven't got here, because that will show up afterwards as well. Look, but there we go. I'm cool around my fingers because my fingers do get quite warm. Gently push. The bits are into the little nooks and crannies that there is. Making sure you're pushing down at the same time so you'll get the print on the other side. Grab your palette knife. And go from the inside to the out. Those are all the rough bits. Okay, so it doesn't worry about this drawing here because that's actually the bit that's going to be sticking onto the back back of this is the mould, is the bit that's going to be actually sticking onto the cake. So just take your fingers. See any bits of icing residue bits here that you're not going to be needing. Just what you're doing is you're just taking your thumb across the mould so you're releasing the paste from the mould. So that's all you're doing. And then pause it a little bit so you've got most of the edge. So you can see it's come away from the edges quite nicely here. So just flip it back over. And you can just see it being released here. Then you just gently use your, your spare thumb. And it comes out like so, and I can't see any bits that need to be tidied up on there. So there you have your furry cherub plaque ready to put onto your cake. But this one's going to be painted, so you can see my touch on the cake to show you in a minute. What do I do? Put it on here, and I've already got one painted ready to go onto the cake because I like to let it set a little bit or dry a little bit, should I say? So then I'll paint that what's going in there. But that was to show you how it's done, and then we'll apply it to the cake shortly. So we have a cake ready here. So you grab a bit of Trex, put it onto a brush. The reason I use Trex is because if I have glue or water on it, it's going to immediately stick onto the cake, and I want to make sure I position it right. Oh, and so just a little bit of in the middle, just about there, just gently in position. And then what you need to do is just touch it up with your gold. As you can see where my fingers have been. And that once I'm dry, once it's drying out of the way, I can have a proper look at it and then just touch it up. So that's that. So you can see that I've also used on the top of the border here and the bottom here is another embellishment which is called the Art Nouveau Slide. Again, which is, as you can see here, is available from the old pipe in bag.